copyright Joseph Rizzo Naudi, part of the Sensing the Parthenon Project, King's College London, CCBYNCND. On Seeing the Marbles Alpha It began to drizzle, so we climbed the steps and filtered through the columns into the atrium, where, it being dark, I took my guide's elbow. Strong currents pushed us to a light-filled courtyard. The acoustics so much like a swimming pool, we said. Then into darkness again, and through two further rooms, before we came upon a large opening that marked the entrance to the gallery. Oh no, my guide said. Everyone had the same idea. All these bodies coming in at the main door to circulate, there was no escaping them. Such a turgid room. Vast, really. No windows, just grey clouds pressed to the high glass roof, the panes murky like Thames water. We waded to the side, found a cove where fewer currents eddied. OK, these marbles... Not multicoloured balls which people tend to lose, but sculptures taken from a temple. Pale slabs ranged about the sandy walls, long strips of them laid out beneath the thunder sky. Such murky clouds, such sandy walls, and those slabs, a goldish hue from quarries close to Athens, no? Well... I confess I got nothing from them, silent as they were. No cues at all, in fact. Just shoes shuffling on humid tiles, the squeak of souls. There were kids calling, lapping voices, and underwater someone said they'd like to bring their mother here. <laughs>